We already draw the line between the children running away from for fear of their own safety and, and then you know, the, the <clears throat> direction that, that people would like to place on Michelle. Well, I draw the line when an adult, a parent, becomes involved in violating the law. There is a system, and you don't always get the result you want from the system, but you work the system. And I've looked at the videos of those girls, and those girls talk about the fact that they don't like what he said or the way that he said it, but they do not suggest that he molested them, abused them, physically injured them. They do not make allegations of imminent danger. So absent imminent danger, then I think you work the system. And I think when you go outside the system, and, and take radical measures that fracture a family and take girls, that, are they in school? Are they socially developing? Are they away from friends, family, support systems? All with a mother that has been labeled as, as coaching the children and, and not doing things in their best interest. And all of a sudden I become very concerned for their well-being and I would think every member of this family would do the same. Absolutely. In fact, can I, can I mention something? Please. Okay, so in around middle of September, when I had traveled back to Utah where they'd gone missing from, uh, the idea came with the family that if they were scared to return back to their father, why not, have, why not return to a place where, where he would be comfortable at least, uh, someone with his, his family that they could return to? Uh, that was actually discussed, offered up to his, his brother and sister-in-law, and their response to me when that was discussed, thinking we can put that on social media, the girls could return, then this can all get sorted out via the channels that you were discussing through the court system. And Brian's answer was, did not want that to happen. He said it was out of his hands, it was completely up to the courts. Now as the custodial parent, he's got a lot of, he's got the ability, ability to make a lot of decisions there. So I don't know why we even got to that point. We shouldn't be here today. Those girls could have easily been back with his brother and this could have all gotten sorted out through those legal channels you're talking about. If your sister is with those girls, she needs to come in from the cold, she needs to bring those girls back to family and there, things need to be transparent. You people that have nothing to hide, hide nothing. So, you know, what's the whole, what's the point? And do I think this man is perfect? Do I think he's made perfect parenting decisions, perfect marital decisions, uh, perfect partnering decisions? No, no, and no. Sorry. Fair. No, fair. Um, and, uh, and I'd say the same thing about myself. I'd say, you know, nobody's perfect in these things. But I'll tell you what, he has subjected himself to every manner of evaluation and monitoring and been transparent. And... Trust me, in this situation, there will be a high degree of transparency going forward. I mean, you're living in a glass house when you're in this kind of a custody situation.